love this week hi guys we are in my favorite month of the year october it's spooky season i love it i live for it and this year i'm going to be doing 31 days of halloween makeup tutorials here on my youtube as opposed to 20 last year and also they're going to be very different random looks throughout this month they're not all going to be skull themed like they were last year because that was hard to try and think of 20 different skulls I don't want to put myself through that again. So this is just going to be a mix of all sorts. I've got a lot of different looks, some old Disney villain style tutorials. I've got some skulls in there. I've got some glittery makeup tutorials, some really gruesome ones. I'm also going to be doing some that are quite kids appropriate as well. So if you're watching this and you've got children and they're going to a Halloween party or you're taking them trick or treating, some of these may be suitable for that as well. And they're really easy to follow. I'll be talking you through what I'm doing in each tutorial. And so, yeah. Yeah, if you're new here, my name is Casabella. I generally tend to make an appearance online about this time of year. So if you are new here and you want to see more of me, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And let's get on in to day one. Before I do, I just want to talk about this wig for a minute. I am living for it. It's actually only cost about £30 from Amazon. It came as like quite a wavy curly wig but on me it like stood out here. So it is synthetic. I did go ahead and flat iron it on a very low heat and I just love how it's come out. I just can't believe that you can get such good quality wigs like this. This isn't sponsored by the way. I'm j I just generally really love it and I want to share it with you all. So I will link it down below if you want to go check that out along with all the products that I use in this tutorial. Well, if you see any close-ups of my hands when I'm showing you products, I do completely apologise for the state of these babies. I've not had them done in a hot minute and they have grown out quite a bit so I apologise now and in advance because I've filmed quite a few videos already but by the time you watch this yeah they've probably grown out again. I'm so awful at getting my nails done. Anyway enough rambling on shall we get into the first look? I'm so excited. Now even though I said I did skull themed makeup last year and 20 looks on that and I found it quite difficult I am kickstarting this series this year with a skull themed look. <laughs> I promise you it's only like one of maybe four or five throughout this month that I'm going to be doing but I put on this wig especially for this look okay you'll, you'll see you'll see so today's inspiration actually it comes from a girl called typical white girl sfx on instagram she has such an amazing instagram feed she's got the best theme i've seen on instagram and amazing content as well now i have a bunch of snazaroo face paints within my collection snazaroo face paints is all i ever use if you know of any other face paints that give off just as good quality as these ones do or that you think have a better formula can you please comment down below and let me know what other ones to try out because i'm really in an experimental phase right now where i just want to try lots of different products not that i don't love snazzery because i absolutely do but sometimes it's fun to change it up a little bit you know so I think these are the main colours that I'm going to use today. I'll of course have my trusty black one. And then I've just got a bunch of different rhinestones and glitters that I want to experiment in this video as well. <laughs> okay, so if you are just excited for spooky season as much as I am, please give me a like down below. I want to know how many people love October just as much as I do. It's the start of all my favourite festivities coming up. So we have Halloween here in the UK. We have Guy Fawkes Night in November. We've got Christmas, we've got New Year. For you guys in America, you have Thanksgiving. It's just such a fun time of the year. Okay, shall we get started? Let's get started. I think I'm actually gonna start with this area here rather than my face because I kind of wanna just carve out the skeleton bones. They stress me out so much because I never seem to get them right. So I'm gonna start off with that. Okay, we're in business. Okay, so first things first, I am going to take quite a thin paintbrush and probably the lilac-y shade because it's not too harsh of a colour. So if I go wrong, I can just go in with a baby wipe and rectify it. I would suggest you have some makeup wipes or baby wipes handy because honestly, the amount of times I mess up, I would not be able to survive with them. I don't even know if my camera can pick that up because it's quite a light shade. I 
made the paint too watery. It's not literally picking anything up. Now that it's down, I'm going to go in and paint all around it in black. Stick at the mecca. I went so wrong on this side. <laughs> Something like that. Goodbye, double chin. That took some effort. It's definitely patchy in some places, but I will go over that. I did a really quick job of it, so I will go over it with another layer. Okay, so now that I have done that, I'm actually gonna go and fill all this in a bit later and now make a start on my face. I'm gonna leave the mouth until last and just get the color laid down first more than anything. Mm. Goodbye contour. Definitely painting down my baby hairs right now. Can you see? <laughs> oh well, that will dry and come up later. Okay, so I will be using a sponge today just to graduate out the colour. To fade out the colour, that's what I was trying to say. So I'm going to go back in with the black and just carve these bits out here. I'm trying to bleed those two colours into each other but it's not going quite how I wanted it to. Mm, that's a bit better. More of like a faded look. I'm going into the hairline so that it looks more seamless, which is my own hairline by the way, not the wigs. <laughs> I think I'm also going to use some eyeshadows later just to shade in some areas, but for now I just want to get the face paint down. She has quite pinky cheeks in this picture, so I think I'm just going to go in with the sponge and the paint rather than painting it on with a brush. I am just going to test this on my leg a second. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, let's do this. Maybe I should just use sponges for the rest of this. Thing is though, I threw a load out. This is like basically the only one that's not my beauty blender that I can use for this. Also, if you do this and you use a sponge, you don't want your sponge too wet because I just stabbed it here and look what happens. It picks up the paint. Bit of purple just here. And then a lighter blue here. So I'm just going back in with the pink and I'm very lightly tapping up towards my eye just to cover some of the skin. Now I am going to paint a pop of pink right underneath my eye. And then a pop of blue on my lid. You do want to be quite careful if you're putting paint anywhere near your eyes. Make sure your paintbrush isn't too watery and you're picking up quite a bit of product. And then only ever do it if you have a really steady hand. So I'm going to go ahead and dab away. And I'm not really going to be too careful about whether I get it on top of the black or not. Because I'm going to go in afterwards and retouch up with the black. This makes it a much faster process. Now I'm just going in and touching the black back up. 
Now some of you might be questioning why I didn't do that process first, but I find if you try and paint black over a colour that's already on your skin, it's quite hard to cover up because the black goes like a grey colour. However, if I've got black down first, then I go over it with a bit of colour and then touch back up with black, I find it darkens just that little bit more. I don't know if that's just in my head or not, but that is why I've done it this way. That is looking so much better. So now I'm going back into the face. I do apologise because I'm jumping from one thing to the other right now. Why is my chin looking like that? Next up is the mouth. I'm going to use black paint to draw out the middle part of it and the teeth in this picture are actually quite a creamy colour so I'm going to use concealer for that part. If you're a bit nervous of doing this part, I would suggest doing this in white paint first so that you can lay it down exactly where you want it and then go in with the black after. So this is the foundation that I'm going to use next and I'm just going to carve out the teeth. I literally look like that cat from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> gonna give myself a little nose. Next, I'm gonna be taking black eyeshadow from this whopping great big palette I have here. Can I just say, this was a real cheapy and bargy, 10 pound Amazon. Honestly, Amazon's place to go. I'm gonna go ahead and shade in the parts that I need to shade in on the face. Now I feel like this look will only be complete with some rhinestones and glitter. Just so you know, glitter glue or rhinestones glue works exactly like eyelash glue does. You've got to wait for it to go tacky first before you stick anything on it. To put the glitter on, I'm going to use some Vaseline and just dab that in the areas where I want the glitter. And then with a wet paintbrush, I'll dip it in some water. That'll help me pick up the glitter so much better from the pot to then stick it on. I love that the light boxes behind this camera picks up the glitter so well. This glitter's iridescent and so pretty. Look at that for nose highlight. <laughs> and voila. This isn't half as pretty as a reference picture, but I did my best. But I do kind of dig it. This is the look that you could wear with an off the shoulder long sleeve black jumpsuit for Halloween. I'm sorry if I wasn't so chatty throughout this video. I feel like I wasn't, but I'm not too good at concentrating and explaining what I'm doing at the same time. So apologies for that. If there's anything further you wanted to know about this look, please let me know in the comments down below. I will link all the products down in the description bar as I will do with all my videos throughout this 31 days of Halloween. But yeah, if you like this look, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on the next 30 days. And I think that's all I have to say. So I will catch you tomorrow. Bye.